papers, two cents, papers, four years of war leaves millions dead. Get your latest news here. Big news from France, read all about it. Germans, close to Paris, 25 miles in five days. Those Huns are tough. They really put the squeeze on those poor folks in France. The French are fleeing. Get the whole story right here, right here, folks. French ask America for help. That's right, France knows they had no match for the Germans, so we sent thousands of Marines. It says here, when the French said, war's over, you better retreat. A Marine told him, retreat? Hell, we just got it. Those Marines, those Lebanons, are always the first to fight. That's right, folks, hot news right here, straight from the battlefield. Hot news right here from the reporter on the scene. Get your papers here, big news from France. Our Marines added to a big fight at Bello Wood. Hey, folks. We'll see for yourself the big fight. American soldiers and Marines halt the German advance on Paris. The Germans regroup near Belleau Wood, an overgrown square mile of tangled ravines and boulders. The French general orders a counterattack on June 6th. The Marines' mission? Seize Belleau Wood. On the left flank, Major Benjamin Barry's 3rd Battalion, 5th Marines, approaches the line of departure. His regimental commander, Colonel Albertus Catlin, would later recall that the wood was strongly held, we knew. Barry had 400 yards of open wheat field to cross in the face of a galling fire. I did not believe he could ever reach the woods. Major Barry forms his battalion into two attack companies of four waves, each man five paces apart. Two other companies follow 200 yards behind. The Allies had designed this formation to closely follow a rolling artillery barrage that would screen the advance. But the brigade commander, seeking to surprise the enemy, orders only a brief barrage. A fatal error. German gunners open a murderous crossfire. Marines fall by the score. Chicago Tribune correspondent Floyd Gibbons, hit by three bullets, files an eyewitness dispatch. The surviving Marines abandoned the parade ground formation, fanned out, and began advancing in rushes. A squad would run forward 50 feet and drop. Another squad would rise from the ground. German machine guns fire relentlessly. Each desperate dash incurs more casualties. Fully half the battalion goes down. Decimated squads grimly keep moving, firing, moving. Mere handfuls reach the woods to ban at the machine gunners, but they are too few to hold. Two adjoining battalions fare better, but the overall cost has been staggering. The Marines on this single day lose more men than in their entire history up to that date. Colonel Catlin would later write, this bitter struggle marked the turning point for this whole war. The battle for Below Wood continues for three more bloody weeks until June 26th, when Major Maurice Shearer reports, Woods, now U.S. Marine Corps, entirely.